Hello Coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on some fresh updates for FC Barcelona. We are going to be talking about some two transfer rumors. We are going to begin first with this Real Sociedad winger by name Adnan Yanozai. Our Spanish outlet El Nacional have just reported that Xavi have requested his signing. We are going to be discussing much more on that report as we move ahead. Then to conclude, we are going to be talking about Mohamed Salah. Of course, we know Mohamed Salah was recently linked with a move to FC Barcelona. And of course, Salah have just recently responded to those links by saying that it makes him very happy that a team like Barcelona is interested in him. We are going to be discussing on all what Mo Salah had to say concerning those links. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barcelona's pursuit of a new white player seems to have taken them to fellow La Liga club Real Sociedad with El Nacional reporting that Adnan Yanozai has emerged as a target for Xavi Hernandez. Of course, Yanozai, a former Manchester United Academy man, has been with um, Real Sociedad since 2017 and has been a regular in the side under the coach, making over 100 appearances for the club so far. Why he may not be the most prolific attacker around? The Belgian international offers versatility to the table and has looked in good touch this season, which has seemingly attracted the attention of Barcelona manager Xavi. It is no secret that you know Xavi Hernandez looking to beef up his options in the wide attacking berth, having seen the lack of depth hurt the club this season, with Usman Dembele's future at the Camp Nou under murky clouds. There would be a need for a new winger in case the Frenchman departs when his contract expires. Why Yanozai would not exactly be a direct replacement for Usman Dembele, the ex-Manchester United is seen as more of a squad player by Xavi, someone who can essay the role of that youngsters Abde, you know, and Ia Shakomash have done this season, but has more experience and exposure at the highest level of football. Of course, Yanozai's ability to play on either flank, link up with players and his powers, you know, with his left foot are believed to have convinced um, Xavi Hernandez, the Barca head coach. Yanozai is in the final year of his contract with Real Sociedad. The 26-year-old, you know, backs a gross salary of 4.4 million euros per year. That is 2.3 million euros a year net and is seeking a better deal. However, the Basque club might walk away from negotiations if his demand seems over the top. The report adds that Barcelona find the prospect of signing him on a free transfer with just a potential signing on fee appealing. They would be in position to meet Yanozai's wage demands, even more so if Dembele ends up leaving. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, speaking to Egyptian broadcaster MBC Liverpool superstar Mohamed Salah has responded to speculations linking him with a move to Barcelona. The 29-year-old is one of the best forwards in the game currently. Since signing for the Reds back in 2017, he has helped the team to the UEFA Champions League and Premier League success, winning several individual accolades and breaking several records along the way. A prolific goal scorer, Salah has been in absolutely rampant form this season, banging in 19 goals and 8 assists from just 20 matches in all competitions. The former Chelsea and AS Roma attacker has been regularly linked with a move to the Camp Nou for a number of years now, with new Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez on the lookout for a superstar signing to bolster his attacking unit. Salah's name has again been mentioned as a potential target in the media. Responding to the rumors, the Egyptian international has claimed that it pleases him to be linked with a club like Barcelona, but he is currently happy at Liverpool. Going by Salah's words, I read what was said about Xavi's interest to sign me. This is something that makes me happy that a team like Barcelona is interested in me, but I'm happy in Liverpool and we will see what happens in the future. At the moment, I prefer to stay in the Premier League as it's the strongest league in the world, Salah said. Of course, Salah sees his contract with Liverpool runs out in 2023. Talks over a new deal have been ongoing, but an agreement is yet to be reached. Salah addressed the situation during the interview, stating that he wishes to sign an extension, going by his word. I said it several times, if the decision is up to me, I want to stay in Liverpool, he added. 
But the decision is in the hands of the management and they have to solve this issue. Your financial value shows how much the club appreciates you and that they are ready to do anything for you to stay. But the decision itself is not based on those financial matters only. There are things, you know, like the ambition of the team and the coach and what he wants to do with the team and the players he wants. These are all important points when making the decision. Those are the words from Salah. So should an agreement not be reached, Salah would enter the final year of his contract, you know, in the summer, at which point Liverpool might have to consider the prospect of selling him. Barcelona will definitely be watching the situation closely, although the financial effort needed to sign the superstar will make things hard for Barcelona. So coolers, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.